Hi there, welcome back to a new studio vlog. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm Lisa by the way and I run a creative business from home. This week I have, I'm going to be launching my Christmas kit which I'm really excited about so we're going to be working behind the scenes um, on that ready for launching it. I've got a Christmas online market that I'm taking place with as well. We've been having internet problems all morning it's apparently working again now. I've got printer problems as well, but that seems to be working. It's just been one of those mornings, but it's going to be a busy week, so there's going to be lots going on. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel if you're new, and give me a little thumbs up. You can also click the bell notification as well, which notifies you when my videos go up. All right, that seems to be working now. It stopped halfway through last time. I've just got my little recording area, all my lights set up and I want to take a picture of my Christmas kit so that I can start advertising it. While Aid was trying to fix all the computer problems, I've cut all the fabric to length. I've got a piece of fabric going in every Christmas kit. So I was in the lounge cutting those so they can now be neatly folded, ready to go in the Christmas kits. I'm gutted. I was expecting my printer delivery like now, any day. And I just went to check on the status of it and the order hadn't gone through. I'm so annoyed with myself. I did it last week. I had a really good voucher code for 40% off and it expired on the 27th. I placed the order and I saw that the delivery date was the 2nd of November and the order's nowhere to be seen. I'm so gutted. So I've just called up. Best discount I could get was 7%, which is a real bummer. But um, she's kindly given me £40 off. I'm just so upset. I just, and now my delivery date is the 9th of November. It's just one of those days today. All right, we've taken the kids to Starbucks. I've had a little break and now I've got to get back. I'm gonna try and do a whole load of bulk filming now and try and get a load of journaling videos done and bits for my Patreon as well. Um, if you haven't seen, I'm doing Patreon now and um, some of the tiers, I've got extra how-to videos. I'm doing like little mini tutorials and I'm going to film one right now. I've got three uploaded for Patreon at the moment. I want to add to that again this month and keep adding to them every month so that when you're there, when you're part of it, you're receiving regular videos. But also when you're new and you sign up, the idea is that you've got loads of content that you can watch back on as well. So you've got loads and loads. So that's what I'm working on right now. Oh, I also shared um, the Christmas artwork as well. I worked on that before I went. I've shared sneaks and um, I'm organising a pre-sale in my chat group. Everyone in the free chat group, the Lollipop um, Facebook group, gets priority. So that's gone up. That's going up early in the group. So I'm excited about that. And then it will go on general sale to everyone else at a later date. Um, if, in case you wanted to know, I will leave a link to Patreon below so you can go and check that out and have a look. And also to the free chat group as well. I've got a sale going on this week as well. So everyone gets um, access early to anything like that who are part of the group. I'm now going to film the tutorial for my Patreon. I'm so pleased with myself. I have managed to film a Patreon video and I've also just filmed my next journaling video as well. Both will have got, um, the Patreon may not have gone up yet but the journal video will have gone up so I will link that up below for you. I've been playing with the stencil in the kit and I've made some really cute things and I can use that artwork in the kit scene as well which I'm really pleased about. It's half seven, I've made dinner whilst video chatting with my sister and it's just come together really quickly. I didn't make what was on the menu in the end. Um, I didn't fancy that and I defrosted some chicken this morning. So you know that usual rice dish I love with broccoli and cheese. I've made that and I've put a little bit of chicken in. I love using my skillet pan. I use it so often, but this is now ready. I'll quickly wolf down some of this. Oh, the rice is ready. <laughs> That dinner is always one of my favourites. It's so yummy. I've cleaned up. It's watching the football. It's quarter past eight. And I reckon I could probably have a good hour and a half in here. I'm going to try and get loads done. I've got quite a lot of emails and that to go through. Um, but I'd really like to get things ready for my Christmas launch tomorrow. Whoops. That wasn't the way I expected my baking to go. I've just held the lid to empty the flour. And the lid just broke. Oh, dropped my scales and everything. It's not very tasty for you, pops. It's only flour. Seriously, what is going wrong with me today? Cleaned up all the flour, except for the floor. 
I've just placed, carefully placed the margarine in here, but completely dropped it and just sprayed flour absolutely everywhere. I hope it's not gonna be one of those days. All tidy again, let's give this another go. I'm going to um, rub the flour and marge together. By the way, I am making need to use up these bananas. I'm making a double batch of banana and chocolate chip muffins and a loaf tin. I haven't even said good morning yet. Do you know, um, I'm just doing the flower marge. I like those kind of videos where they're really relaxing and there's music playing and you have little steps where they're baking or doing something and it looks really nice. I just tried to do that and it totally didn't work. Um, I don't think I'm that type of person. I like it never works for me so um two disasters and i've cleaned up oh we've got eight joining us morning really good clean up um something arrived yesterday that i haven't shown you yet muffins have just come out the oven by the way they look really good look at this i'm excited it's a pink sewing machine 30 pounds from aldi with free delivery well it wasn't free delivery it was 29.99 free delivery is over 30 so i bought some bath salts to put up for christmas i want to put it in my what do you call those i can't remember what they're called you know the ikea things um, I want to take some things out and put it in there. Um, I'm going to open it and have a look. I was working, by the way, on these little goodie bags last night for the November kit. So let's pop those somewhere safe. I shall carry on with those later. Right, let's see what this sewing machine is like. What you get for £30. I have, haven't really plans to sew. Oh, it says easy to follow, instructions included. I ha I'm not planning really to do fabric. I want to sew on paper. boxes off oh it's so cute oh I got a little pedal I'm gonna be useless at this I really am I don't like instructions and it comes in white as well that is so cute that is a really nice size as well actually I think I'm gonna quickly clear out a space there I had this basket here at the back and to be honest, oh I didn't realise I had a coffee at the castle candle. Um, I'm going to take the candles out and this basket I'm going to use for mini books. I think that would be better storage. I've got some nice candles here. Look, I've got um, Bath and Body Works. I've got two Bath and Body Works leaves. That's new. That was from when we were in the States last. I've got Anthropology um, Pumpkin Souffle that they've stopped doing. I've got a cute little... A6 folder and I've got all of these little like button things but I'm gonna put I've got a whole lot of mini books I think they'll look better in the basket let's give this a quick dust I've got an epoxy sticker stuck on there let's get a craft knife to that oh I hope that comes up yes I think it is yay I've also got these pen pots um, which pens I sell which I can go through because they don't need to stay on there. Notepads, I've got my art journal, notepads, notebooks, and some mini books there. They can now live in there. I need to find a home for this. This is all one whole road trip notebook, mini books. I should go through that basket really because I never use the stuff in there. I've got a couple of, this is like a project life. And I've also got a Disney one, which I've never used. And I've got this basket here, which is full of doilies. I've got some more mini books, um, used glassine envelopes. I'm gonna go through that quickly. There's quite a lot of stuff in here and it's old, old stuff as well. Well, my sewing machine has a new home, that's for sure. Doesn't that look cute? And that's the typewriter that belonged to my mother-in-law's dad. And actually the pink postcard, that's a Bramble Fox postcard and the pink sewing machine, it looks really nice. I like that. I'm gonna move these pens as well because we don't need those there. I've got my vitamins behind there and I still forget to take them so that's probably not, not the best place for them. 
just had a little jiggle and by removing a couple of things and doubling some things up um, I've actually managed to fit all the candles in the drawer in my desk. I've gone through this basket, given it a bit of a tidy up. I do use things from here on my mini books but I need to find a new home for it. I think for now it can live in here. I've popped it behind my mini books and that looks tidy. I've popped my journals in the basket on my paper for now. I kind of need to go through these eventually. This is all DIY stuff but all stuff that I use and I want to keep. Um, and it is really handy storage and it does look tidy. I found this cute little mini book here of my besties and I'm gonna pop it in there on my shelf. And the cake and the muffins look lovely. I'm really pleased with those. They smell so nice. I've actually ended up popping the little button things behind there. I forget I had them when they were stored there but I love my little windowsill here really really love all that color and this is the area where i always create and i love having all that in front of me and on my washi tape i think it's really really fun let me know how you store your ribbons and your buttons anything like that these ribbons that i have here they're all like my loose ends you know like when you get a gift or something actually um that came off something the other day that was in the post this is obviously of a gift of some kind um i keep it all and I use it quite a lot, especially on mini books and things. But I have them all colour coordinated. And then I know exactly where things are. Or oh, you know sometimes you want a little bit of ribbon to attach to a tag. I love those. And all my buttons as well. Um, and I just find it really, really pleasing. I love seeing colour like that. I've decided to pop the little pink bucket on the side here. These are all pencils with pen toppers that I sell on my online shop. So they can live there. And I think they actually look quite cute. And I'm actually going to go through my pen pots now because a lot of these I'm just going to bin. They're really old. I don't sell them. They're just in there. So I'm going to go through it and see what I can get rid of and see if we can maybe move down to one, one bucket. Right, I'm now left with three baskets. I love these heart baskets. They contain loads of like memorabilia, got old cinema tickets, loads and loads of things and loads of tags. I need to go through them. I'm not doing that right now. But I do find when they're up on the shelf, they look a bit messy. Right, for now, I've moved this over to one side. I'm going to pop one basket there. I've popped the other two baskets in here, which are kind of like hidden away. And I managed to squeeze all the pens. I got rid of loads that didn't work. All the pens into one bucket, which I've managed to stash away in the cupboard. So I think I've done really, really well. I'm now... I've been working on my Christmas store all morning actually, all afternoon, um, just adding things. I've got two categories. I've done a Christmas gifts and a Christmas theme. So like all my stickers, die cuts and things like that that are themed for Christmas are in there and then anything that can be bought as a nice gift is in the Christmas gift section. I've got a few more things I'm just taking photos of. I've got some stickers. I found these ones as well. I bought these and uh, when I bought them, I bought them about a couple of years ago and then I realised that they were too big for the boxes. So I've got a load of those and the same with these as well. So, and I've got some washi tape. So I'm just going to add that to the shop now. Yay, I've got all the Christmas stuff on my website now. I've got two sections, Christmas gifts and Christmas themed. And because I don't have loads of stuff, um, I've just shared the link in the group first just to give my lovely community the chance first. It's 10 to six. The Christmas um, kits, the special edition ones, go on sale in 10 minutes on pre-sale to my chat group. I'm really, I get so nervous. I'm really hoping they sell, sell well. It's the kind of thing you don't want to be left with because then you can't shift stuff for another year. I've increased numbers this time because I was sold out of the Halloween kit so, so fast. Um, people have been buying in the Christmas sale, um, the categories that I've done. I've also just filmed a video, just a really quick 10 minute video, um, just talking about updates. Um, I've got a PO box, um, so I've done that, and about Patreon briefly, and about the Christmas kits, and that just to let people know what's happening. Um, I'm just waiting for that to finish uploading so I can upload it to YouTube. And Aid's in the kitchen making dinner. Kit's just gone on sale. It is six o'clock. I've got 32 people immediately in the shop. Oh, wow, that's going up. 40 
Wow, that's gone up really, really quickly. Um, hopefully they'll sell out. I really hope so in the next couple of days anyway. Fingers crossed. I've never ever had this amount of people on my site before. It's like over double what I usually have when I do a limited edition kit. And the site's crashed. It's all up to date. Um, there's not a lot I can do. I've had all my updates done. And it went perfectly for the Halloween sale. <laughs> But I've never ever had this amount of people on my site. A oh, nightmare. Ada just bought me wine. The kits are selling, but very slowly. I think people are really struggling on the site. I feel so bad. Aids made homemade chippies, grilled salmon, and grilled tomatoes. We're gonna have a little play and try and set up the sewing machine today. Aids can give me a hand because I'm rubbish at things like this. So that goes in there. Yep, that's the foot pedal. Okay. I'm looking forward to most sewing on vellum, I think. Tear? Do you think so? Is it paper vellum or more like... What other type of vellum is there? More plasticky vellum. It's like tracing paper. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. I'm excited about it. I can make things for the kits. Because I have so much free time on my hands. <laughs> yes. It looks cute though, doesn't it? It does. Were you impressed when you picked it up? Yeah, I mean, it's cheap. Oh, we've got an accessories pack. Oh, we've got all this in here. There's pins. And we've got sewing things. Yeah, she's got a little drawer down here to put some accessories Oh, I remember in. my nanny had a drawer on her. She's she had a big singer, there. didn't she, or something like that. And then the tape measure. Oh, she's got one of your bobbins in there. Oh, so is this a bobbin? Yeah. Oh. Did you not know that? No. I really fancy a cheese and onion pasty, so I nipped out to put some water on to boil some potatoes to make some. And then I heard Aid start in the sewing machine. You've got this new skill, this skill I never knew you had. I'm the crafty one, you know that, don't you? It's you behind Lollipop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, should you be in all my thumbnails instead? I think I should, yeah. Yeah? Got a pan on and I'm gonna boil up some potatoes. I've never made this before, I'm just making it up as I go along. And I've got a puff pastry block, which I've taken out of the fridge. It was previously frozen. I've taken it out of the fridge just so it can soften a bit to make it easier to roll. Potatoes are chopped and on. I need to boil those. And I want to caramelise some onions as well. How are you doing in here? Have you made anything yet? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm just wondering how... You made a dress? No, no. Skirt? No, I not Oh. It works, though. Does it? Yeah. Do you think I'll be able to use it? I don't know. You're a bit... I don't know with some things like this. A bit what? No. Impatient? Yes. Should I grab some paper? Will it automatically then sew down? You've got to kind of feed it through. By me pressing yeah. the pedal? Yeah. Do I press it down? Yeah, go and press it. Oh. oh, it does feed it through on its own. Ooh. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Oh, do I have to do a bit more? This is what I don't quite know, and then you can... Don't put it. Oh, sorry. You need to snare cut it. Okay. Is that your first one? Yeah. It's actually quite straight, isn't it? Hmm. Have a go. You want to do the other side? Yeah. We'll do one pocket then. Yours hasn't worked. I hate to tell you. <laughs> oh, I think I won that one. The needle's not threaded. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right, you can have another go. Are you upset? Because you were hoping yours would be the best, wouldn't you? It would be the best. Do you think I accidentally... You've actually broken it already with one use of it. Right, the bit that you said I couldn't do. That's horrible, I can't include that. I did it first time, didn't I? You did. Yeah, so well done, Lisa. Well done, Lisa. You said I wouldn't have the patience, I did it really well. I did. I threaded that needle straight away. No, I'm doing exactly, yeah. That's what well, I mean. you've done it right on. The, I can't use that as a pocket now. Look at it. You yeah, couldn't because I already did that bit there. You, you can be able to use it as a pocket anyway. It. You can do that as a pocket, can't you? Oh, that's a big pocket. It looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah? I just need to work out to that. I found them replacing the bob bobbin. Okay. Right, are we happy with the sewing machine? Yeah, just got to work out about, about the bottom bobbin. We found instructions, I'll read that another time. Okay, but it's a good little sewing machine. Exactly, yeah, it's not too bad. It's actually battery pounds. power. Battery. Oh, is it as well? I'll just turn the power off, just yeah. so I'm nice and slow. Okay. So it's nice to be Oh, okay, that's quite so good. So it will actually oh, be, wow. it can be done by So if you're going on holiday power. or something, not that you, but if like, you, I was going to say a caravan, but obviously you can plug it in in a caravan. It's more the fact. In the car. Like, 
Yeah, in the, in the car, yes. <laughs> that very famous pastime of sewing in the car. <laughs> Well, no, it's not... Where's the little um, drawer as well, please? The little drawer at the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's quite cool. So you can put your bobbins. I like all the little... So you can choose different stitches as well. What's this bit um, for here? I don't know yet. Um, oh. Just in the same regard to the power. Let me just turn yeah. it back on again. What I did like as well is the fact there is actually a nice little light there as well. Oh, yeah, to help you see. That cuts your thread there. Oh, OK. I didn't know and that. And also, another thing. This is completely new to both of us. Yeah. What I did like about this, it's kind of a bit novice. Yeah. Obviously, people that know what they're doing. But I like the way in regards to this, there's the numbered number one. Oh, OK. And then there's number two to ah. wear. And also how to thread under. The number three, you have to thread. If you want to thread the, it through, you have to thread it through Did there. Did you find it quite easy doing then? Well, that was already set up. Oh, OK. But if you need to do it another time, it's a yeah. case of, right, OK, one, two, three, four. OK, that's I've, quite cool. So machines, like my mum's one that yeah. she's got, I just wouldn't know where to begin. Yeah, I understand. Uh, and nice then this, little... which I quite liked, I was saying about before, you can choose your thread, your like pattern, mm. and then you just do it on the windy thing, don't you, the There's dial. Some... So I can't say I would recommend it for dressmaking because I've never tried dressmaking and I've never used a normal sewing machine, apart from at school, many, many years ago. But for paper, for messing around, or a child's birthday or Christmas present, I think it's really, really fun and it looks really cute and I'm really pleased that I've bought it. Um, I just wanted to give it a quick test so I can throw away the packaging now and I know it works. By the way, I forgot to say, I completely sold out of the Christmas kits. The sale, the sale went so, so well. We sold out. Um, finally, all the kits started selling. Um, it was a bit of a nightmare with the, with the site, but they all started selling and then as more were selling, um, it made it a lot easier because people were coming off the site. And then I sold out within a couple of hours, so I was really, really pleased about that. The general sale went on the next day and I sold out within the hour. So I was really pleased and those kits will be sent. They're being packed this week and they'll be sent the mid of November along with the November kits. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the little notebooks arrived as well. Look how cute they are. We're going to be doing our December dailies. By the way, um, I am going to be doing um, daily journal prompts for you in Patreon. Um, it's on the very first tier, which is £1.50 plus tax, plus VAT a month. So I'll leave the link below if you want to go and have a look. And if you want to be joining in with all the chat um, ready for December, we'll be setting up our journals and all that kind of thing. I will also be doing some of it in the in the free Facebook group. So if you're in there, you're not going to be excluded. Don't worry. All the links will be left below. If you're not part of any of the groups, go and take a look and um, feel free to join. But I'm gonna say goodbye now. I will show you my pasties when they're done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for everyone who has supported me this week. I've done amazing with the kits and I've done amazing with Patreon. Patreon is one week old today and we're at 71 now. So I'm really, really, really grateful to all of you who are supporting me right now. It means so much to me. Thank you so much. You're making all my creative dreams come true. And the more support I get, the more things I can do with you, which is even better for all of us. So thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love, bye. I've mashed the potato up, seasoned it, I've had some marge, and I've also grated in some cheese and I'm gonna mash it all up really nicely so it's nice and smooth. I like everything really cheesy so I'm also cutting up some lumps to put in so that it's got some more solid pieces of cheese inside the pasties. And I'm gonna stir in the onions as well. So I'm using a round cutter, I've rolled out the pastry and then I've got these on here and the idea is I'm going to put some mixture and then fold the pastry over. I'm actually finding to roll them out so they're more oval than round. This is round and this is oval. They're working out a lot better. Pierce them with a fork and now I'm just going to brush over with some milk and I'm going to pop them in the oven on 180. I think I'm going to put the timer on for 15 minutes. I might check them after 10 just to see how they're doing. These look so good. These have opened a little bit. I put a bit too much filling, but they still look really yummy. Right, we're going to try a cheese and onion to start with. Look at that. That looks so nice. They're nice and hot. And we're waiting for the others. I made the others with a little bit of onion chutney inside. Ooh. You ready? Is it really hot? I don't know when it hasn't long come out the oven. Not Do you reckon? Really, not really done. Not hot. <laughs> really, that really nice. Mm. What do you think? Really nice. Nice flavour. It is very mm. hot, isn't it? So mm. what's in these ones? Potato, cheese and onion? Yeah. Mm. It's really tasty.
I've mashed the potato up, seasoned it, I've had some marge, and I've also grated in some cheese, and I'm gonna mash it all up really nicely so it's nice and smooth. I like everything really cheesy, so I'm also cutting up some lumps to put in so that it's got some more solid pieces of cheese inside the pasties. And I'm gonna stir in the onions as well. So I'm using a round cutter. I've rolled out the pastry and then I've got these on here and then the idea is I'm going to put some mixture. The idea is I'm going to put some mixture and then fold the pastry over. I'm actually finding to roll them out so they're more oval than round. This is round and this is oval. They're working out a lot better. Pierce them with a fork and now I'm just going to brush over with some milk and I'm going to pop them in the oven on 180. I think I'm going to put the timer on for 15 minutes. I might check them after 10 just to see how they're doing. These look so good. These have opened a little bit. I put a bit too much filling but they still look really yummy. Right, we're going to try a cheese and onion to start with. Look at that. That looks so nice. They're nice and hot. I'm waiting for the others. I made the others with a little bit of onion chutney inside. Ooh. You ready? Is it really hot? I don't know when it hasn't long come out the oven. Not really, not really delicate. Hot. <laughs> really That's hot. really nice. Mm. It's hot, isn't oh. it? What do you think? The pastry in your head. Oh, some pastry popping. What do you think? Really nice. Nice flavour. It is very mm. hot, isn't it? Mmm. Oh. Yeah. So, mm. what's in these ones? Potato, cheese, and onion. Yeah. Mm. It's really tasty. 